see that that is a rough scaled plated lizard which is very exciting for me on account of the fact that we hardly ever see them now we came here to this termite mound where that beautiful lizard is now sunning itself because we thought maybe there were hyenas denning here it's the old hyena den or Philemon's dip and the reason we came here was because there was enormous amount of hyena activity all over the road but it doesn't seem that there are any hyenas here there is however a rough scaled plated lizard and I am not convinced that I know exactly what the diet of the rough scaled plated lizard is but I think it probably eats termites and any sort of invertebrate that it can catch and possibly even smaller lizards let me just check that up for you before I tell you a lie by mistake <laughs> it is... I will find it, here we go, here we go yes, large insects, flowers actually, and fruits, that's right, I remember now it can be relatively vegetarian, almost um, Ron Ray, there's nothing much to see here really, has it gone? no, it's still there I, I, I don't have a very good picture of it and the only other thing you can com you could confuse it with would be a giant plated lizard, but a giant plated lizard is uh, Jandre. Giant. Giant. That's right. It's bigger than that one and not quite as variable in colour. Very nice. Large insects, flowers, and fruit. So I imagine. Uh, in terms of large insects, it probably eats quite a few beetles. He really is, I mean, I think because of the, it's quite difficult to expose for it, but he's the most gorgeous golden straw and black colour. And I always think that if I compare them with something like a rock monitor, which looks, uh, one doesn't like to say vicious, but certainly a little angrier, I always think that the plated lizard looks quite friendly, like he'd quite like to come home with you and uh, share a chinwag over a cup of tea or something. That's possibly the most ridiculous thing I've ever said.